Hey guys, let's get right into it. All right, so this banana bread is packed with flavor. You see on the screen, we've got brown sugar, turbinado, regular sugar, and cinnamon. cinnamon. And so from there, all we're gonna do is throw in like a big old stick of butter. This thing don't have to be blended all the way smooth. It's a rustic style banana bread. It's a little bit heavier and uh, I just absolutely love it. The color of it is gonna be a little darker as well because the types of sugar we use. And I'm gonna mention that a little bit later. But you see here, all I'm doing is using a hand mixer. Easy peasy. And that's the name of the game on this one. Mixing up the butter and sugar. Yep. You guys see how coarse that is? It's because it's a little cold in the house. Like I said, you don't have to bring out the stand mixer and you're not trying to just cream it to death. Don't even worry about over mixing it because since you're not adding flour right now, you don't even have to worry about creating the gluten, which is the uh, the stretch part of a, of a dough or of a bread. So right now, all we're trying to do is just incorporate all the ingredients together. We added two eggs, and uh, this is just basically just walking you through the process. Super, super, super easy. All right, so we got everything mixed, and now we're just gonna add our three bananas. What I'm, what I'm gonna tell you guys is on these bananas, you gotta make sure they're right. This is where you get the max flavor. This is where you get the softness in the dough, in the bread, in the loaf. When you do it with hard bananas, it will not work. You can see the color variations of, of my bananas. Even this one right here, you guys think it should be thrown away? Absolutely not. That bad boy is packed with banana flavor. Blend it up, same way. All we're gonna do is incorporate that into the mix. I got a little stubborn little piece of banana that wouldn't go through the blender. But it's like a good little texture flavor going through the loaf. See it? I try to hit it. I try to like just knock it out, but it won't go through. There we go. All right, we're back to square one. Then after that, all we're gonna do is add a little vanilla, stir it around, we'll show you guys a little bit of like the, uh, the texture. It's not creamy, it's not smooth, and it does not have to be. All right, you like that slow motion pour? That's skill right there. That's editing at its finest. Now, this is when it comes in handy. Let's switch gears. Let's go to flour, let's go to baking soda, and let's go to salt. All we're gonna do is mix that together with our, uh, we use pecans, didn't we? Yeah, Yeah, we pecan. Pecans. You can use walnuts or any type of nuts, but I did mix it in the flour. I wanted to show that. You see that how I coated the nuts with the flour? It helps the nuts float in the loaf. Sometimes your batter is a little loose, and when you bake it, the nuts will sink. If you coat them with the flour, it acts like a, um, a glue and it helps your nuts stay, what do you call it? Uniform through the loaf. Suspended. Suspended, there we go, all right. All we're batter. gonna do is, yep. All we're gonna do is just fold that in. We're not trying to overwork it. It's just like one of those uh, box cake mixes style. You don't have to overwork this. We got my little, uh, uh, what's it called? Is that a cast iron loaf pan? It is, enameled. There we go, enameled cast iron loaf pan. All we did was spray it with some uh, Pam cooking, baking spray. The, with a flour mix, and this is the secret ingredient that everybody should be doing. Yes. The turbinado, we use three tablespoons sprinkled over top, and it gives it the uh, the crunchy muffin top effect. We should have used four tablespoons because that turbinado crust is the best part. It does, it really makes it. It's almost like a whole nother layer to this easy, easy, easy dish. It's kind of like the streusel on top of a blueberry muffin. Correct. Yeah. That was the whole idea behind it all right without further ado we're going to put this bad boy in the oven and uh, we'll see what it comes out like all right guys so you saw how we made it super easy massive flavor we're at 350 we're just going to pop it in the oven we're going to set it for about 45 minutes it's a 55 minute cook but like always you want to check it a little bit earlier just to make sure so we'll go up here stop Stop. Start. There we go. All right, we'll show you guys what it looks like. Oh yeah, there it is, guys. I couldn't even like wait for this bad boy to cool down. Watch, we're gonna cut it and all that steam comes out. But I did wanna uh, just mention real quick, the reason why our banana bread is so dark is because of the sugars that we chose to use. That means that anytime you add a turbinado or a brown sugar, whether it be light or dark, it's going to darken your bread versus just like a bleached, refined, re uh, regular sugar. But we did that to build the depths of flavor. 
So you guys see when I'm cutting this bad boy open, all those nuts stay suspended. Plus you got those banana chucks in there and that's what makes this bread just over the top. And don't forget that muffin topping, uh, topping that we use with all that turbinado on top. Golly.